it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. And this week marked the end of June, the end of the second quarter, and therefore the end of the first half of the year in 2019. With most major indices up double digits, representing the best start to a year in many decades. Markets are living up to the old Wall Street adage that a rising tide lifts all boats with every major asset class, stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities, all showing positive returns year to date. Growth stocks continue to lead the pack as they have for the last 10 years, up over 20% so far this year, along with real estate investment trust and energy MLPs also posting 20% plus returns. And most other stock indices are posting double digit returns so far this year. With the 10-year Treasury yield at or below 2%, bond markets across the board are up for the year. Even gold, a perennial loser, is up so far in 2019. Now, S&P valuations in general continue to be reasonable. With the forward PE, forward price to book, price to cash flow, and dividend yield, all trading in line with the 25-year average. But the best performing asset class, that would be growth, is the least attractive on a valuation basis with the highest P.E. ratio and the lowest current dividend yield. Value stocks and international companies, on the other hand, are selling at the most reasonable valuations with substantially higher dividend yields. Current valuations point to a higher probability that value and international will outperform growth sometime in the future. But timing such a move is near impossible. Valuation market timing is extremely tough and somewhat unreliable. Expensive markets tend to stay richly valued longer than anyone thinks possible. You know, think back to 96 to 99 when technology stocks stayed overvalued until they weren't. And cheap markets tend to stay cheaper for long periods of time. See, to me, valuations are useful only in their ability to create realistic 10-year return expectations. In the long run, investing is about wealth creation. And you don't create the most wealth by owning the most shares after the investment goes up. You create the most wealth by accumulating the most shares before it goes up. And the best time to buy shares is when the valuation is cheap and the price is low. Remember, the only free lunch on Wall Street is asset allocation. And a truly diversified portfolio provides opportunities for wealth creation on a daily basis. If you're sitting there wondering... Do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my risk tolerance? Do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to creating the wealth that I need to accumulate in my lifetime? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692.